welcome to part 12 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. This is Ron Moore along with Star Soldier 1 and the returning Lens of Truth 1689. How's it going? Hey, how's everybody? Yeah. Yeah, so now I am in the Ice Palace. Ooh. And have been in this dungeon in a long time. I remember it being very difficult. <laughs> yeah, this or is where the, the water one. Uh, probably thinking Water Temple on Ocarina of Time. <laughs> this is the proverbial water, uh, Ocarina of Time Water Temple. Yeah. Yeah, the programmers in this game must have been pretty cold to do something like this. Uh. <laughs> I was telling them, chill out on the difficulty. Yeah. <laughs> Get rid of Every time I try to play this place, my game freezes. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, I got destroyed all the J's. I mean the Pentagators. Ping, <laughs> ping, penguin, penguin Gators, whatever they are. Yeah, don't be such a Penguin Instigator. <laughs> no wonder we lose the Scrappers. Nah, um. <laughs> yeah, J unsubscribed to me a long time ago. <laughs> Tired you and Ronnie making fun of me. Well, it's been a long time. I can't remember the last time we had Lens of Truth in the S2K commentary, maybe except for uh, Crown Trigger. It's probably the last time. That's because I got lost. Oh, <laughs> you got lost? Yeah. Where? I couldn't find my way past my driveway. Oh, yeah. That's I tough. I you meant like this dungeon. <laughs> Yeah, I remember how tricky this <laughs> level got, especially from the multiple floors that you had to experiment with. Yeah, really. Oh, wow, that was shocking. Ah. Hopefully he actually fell out that part that I didn't really look stupid in that video. <laughs> Sometimes well, we can get out of sync. It depends how we film it. Yeah. For some reason, a long time ago, right, right here, you're supposed to use the sword and then destroy the, the, the skeleton, so, Skeletor, whoever, with the bomb. And for the longest time, because, you know, right here, Sahasrila gives me the clue, you must not destroy with the sword alone. And so, I thought use the hammer next, so I kept using the hammer five times until he finally died. <laughs> Jump for the shadows. This ain't the shadow temple, then you get out of here. You're in the wrong game. Oh man, it's the Mario Brothers fire sticks. <laughs> Little blobs now. <laughs> Those look like, I guess the same blobs from the very first Zelda, except they're slimmer and green. Yeah. Yeah, I think blobs are almost in every Zelda game. Yeah, really? Well... Yeah, those are what blobs should be like in a video game, not freaking Deadly Towers blobs. Yeah. That takes like 50 hits a kill. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> it's almost a Nintendo made this game. Yeah, those those statue ice angels right there, yeah, they're creepy. You gotta watch out for them. They take a lot of hits off, too. So break your spine or your knees. Yeah, not Link. He's, he's the hero of time. Yeah. Well, not in this game. He's just he's a hero yeah. of something. Yeah. This hat is, is a parachute. Yeah, that's why he don't die when he falls. You know, Ocarina of Time it does hurt him. But in the older Zelda games, it don't. At least on here, I don't think you fall 50 feet in the old Zelda. I hate that part right there. I always fall right there. And try, <laughs> try to avoid that fire. Yeah, you really have to get used to the slippery controls here. <laughs> yeah, really. Well, what's, what's worse, broken controls or slippery controls? I don't know. Slippery controls suck. <laughs> 
Yeah, I didn't mean that like a pun, but yeah, they really do. <laughs> I hate separate controls because they're so loose. Huh? Yeah. So, what's your uh, fondest uh, memories of this dungeon, uh, Danny? My fondest memories of this dungeon. Oh gosh. <laughs> is there is like any fondest memories? That's like asking what your fondest memory of going to the dentist is. <laughs> when it was over. <laughs> yeah. And right there, it took me a long time to figure out how to get to that treasure chest. Whoa, those black shadow things are creepy. Yeah, they pop out of nowhere practically. Yeah. Well, you do see them coming, but they're so quick too. Yeah. I think the oh. scariest thing is if they all run in unison. Yeah, really. I'm going to find myself going in circles through this dungeon, like, for the longest time. <laughs> I mean, I forgot how to beat this dungeon. I had to look on YouTube and look at a walkthrough. Yeah, I looked at this video for help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now people can look at my video for help now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, another payphone. Well, yeah, I know that. <laughs> well, as Gandalf gives me another tip, let me go in this room down here. And... Use your medicine to refill your health. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate those electrical floating balls. Electric jellyfish or something. Yeah. As I, told, as I told we got before, I don't like this dungeon music. I like the dungeon music in the light world better. Yeah, this one is almost like too repetitive. Yeah. Did you have to bomb that one part of the wall or no? No, you can't. Unless you got that big bomb at the end. <laughs> but you can't get to this part by then. Oh, I guess you could, no. Huh. You can't. <laughs> That'd be a cool secret. Use the big bomb at the end to get to Ganon. To use that to bomb the... The walls you usually can't bomb the game. <laughs> yeah, that super bomb. Yeah. <laughs> I feel kind of awkward pulling on some demon's tongue or whatever that is. Oh yeah, it's kind of gross. <laughs> Thank God it's just a tongue. Yeah, or that it's not really wet. Here, let me pull on this and see what happens. Yeah, ah! <laughs> and now I got the big key. <laughs> I'm a big boy now. Yeah, just make everything super. Oh no, you don't need a key. You need a super key. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, you need a super bomb, not a regular bomb. Yeah. <laughs> they do that in Metroid too. Oh, you don't need a regular missile. You need a super missile. And you don't need the regular bomb. You need the power bomb. Yeah. And then which Vader was suing for that? Oh no, you need the power glove. It's so bad. Yeah. <laughs> At least they don't make you buy the super scope and like <laughs> the power pad just to play this Ooh. game. Yeah, really. <laughs> Man, I got pumped. See that? How much damage they did? Man. They hit hard. They're like iron knuckles. Yeah. And that's where you bomb the floor. Because I think I bombed part of that floor before and it didn't work, so I figured, oh, we well, can't bomb it. Now I get the blue mail. I got the big key and now I got the I guess the big boys closed now. <laughs> I forget, does it take less damage off? Yeah, or it does, does it on Yeah. I think but I forgot what it just said. About by one half or I forgot. It reduces damage. Okay, that's cool. Move out of the freaking way, man! Really? It matches your hair. That's its usefulness. Yeah. Or it would match your hair if your hair wasn't pink. <laughs> pink it even changes your hat, too. <laughs> yeah. Aw oh, man, stupid thing, hide behind that. Oh man! Oh. 
I thought the crystal would block it. You Stupid was, crystal, do your job. I think that Nintendo is just trying to, like, laugh at us. Because everyone's like, well, the palette for, for Link doesn't have yellow. There's no yellow in the game. And they're like, guess what? Blue mail. Yeah. You got blue mail. <laughs> Take a punch oh. of the giant ashtray. Yes. He does it like a 40 foot drop and he just lands okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Remember his hat's a parachute. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. Alright. At least I'm full. Come on, get into the mud puddle. Alright. Here we go. Do a quick cut because it took me a long time to figure out where to go and what to do next. So, thank God for Windows Movie Maker and quick cuts. Dang it, watch out. Stat Childs now? Stat Childs are ahead of their time here. <laughs> ah, oh. <laughs> ah, forgot about that. Gotta leave that hammer down some people. I heard MC Hammer tried to sue this, not to sue Nintendo because it had the hammer. I'm like, are you kidding me? No, not really. Um, I think he tried to sue everybody just to made some cash. <laughs> well, let's see if he can sue this. Fail. Fail segue, but here's the boss of the... <laughs> Dungeon, uh, Ice Monster. Do, 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 I guess it didn't work as fast as I thought it would. The flame, uh, I know it worked, to, you know, to break the ice, but I guess not to kill the boss faster in this part. There we go. It's not like Jay moaning. Oh, man, he's not the kill. He's not watching. Oh, yeah, he never watches this new one thing. Yes, I do, douchebag. Shut up. Oh, I just got a long text message now on Skype from him. We love you, Jay. <laughs> I don't. That's what Bear would say. We love you, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we save another random girl. Yep, one of the seven maidens. The fifth one. But back, when you first played this game, this right here was kind of helpful. and kind of gives you... I don't know if it's super helpful, but it kind of helps you understand what's really going on and... Uh, stuff. So when you first see you know, rescue the maidens, it's like, oh, oh, this is interesting. Oh, wow. His name is Ganondorf? Not Ganon? And right now, now you play it over and over again. It's like, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Take me to the next, uh, take me out of this dungeon so I can move on. Then, you, then for some reason, like, you accidentally hit not at all, and then you hit the, <laughs> the whole thing again. Yeah. She's just like a pre-recorded message. Yeah, really. Alright, so that's the end of part 12. We'll see you in part 13. Until then, God bless and take care. Thank you all for watching. Here leads to the Triforce. Yeah. ECW.